Hey everybody, today I'm gonna be making a thin steak and rice. And um, it tastes really good and you cook your rice with your steak when the time comes and it's got um, all kinds of delicious flavor mixed in. And um, it's the kind of recipe you can use the spices that you'd like to use if you uh, don't see a spice that you like that I'm uh, not using. Did that make sense? If I'm not using a spice you like, then you put it in for yours. And if I'm using a spice you don't like, don't put it in. So anyway, we're going to get started. And... Here's our pan. I'm going to turn it on high and I'm going to put a little vegetable oil in. That was probably, I'd say less than fourth of a cup, maybe eighth of a cup or so. And to this oil, I'm gonna put a little butter because I think butter just gives a really good flavor. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of this brown sugar. And it will help your meat brown up, be really pretty, but it won't um, give your meat a real prominent sweet taste. So I'm trying to get that in there. Okay. So don't, don't stir this. If you need to move it around, just go like this, but don't stir it. Now I'm using this thin cut uh, bottom round and it's um, really thin cut. There's something on my package there. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and season the meat. And I know you cannot see very well, but I'm, uh, I'll tell you everything I'm doing. I'm sorry about that. I probably should have seasoned it first. What you wanna do is, um, you want to season pretty heavy because you're going to be adding a lot of water and your um, rice in a little bit and you don't want it to be like diluted or whatever. And I could go with every piece, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to season it as it is. Um, on this um, tray that it came on. I'm gonna do that little stir. Let it keep browning your, your brown sugar. I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Get a good helping of it. There's a dust storm of garlic powder there. Some oregano. And 
that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the other side. So we have more of the house dressing or uh, house seasoning. Oregano. And garlic powder. Okay, this is what the other side looks like. So now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut this right down the center to make these steaks just a little bit smaller. Okay. So, um, you can see I've cut those in half. I'm gonna cut this back up just a little bit. I'm ready to put the meat into the sugar and the sugar starting to get a little bit brown. More uh, like it's getting pretty cooked and just throw this in there, your meat. What seasonings you have on the tray, just put them in. Now, ouch, that is hot. Now, I'm gonna turn it down just a little. I'm gonna put the lid on it, just like that. And I'm gonna let it cook for about five minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll stir it around, and I have some uh, vegetables that I wanna add to it, and we'll just go on to the next step. So I've let this go about five minutes now. I'm gonna take the lid off. And stir up the steak. And that dark is where the sugar kind of caramelized it. So what I'm gonna do now, all this dark on the bottom here is gonna come up. And that's all gonna be flavor. I cut up a lot of onion and green pepper just because we like that a lot. You don't have to cut up near that much, but I just, did big chunks and, um, you know, just uh, made it chunky. And so we're gonna saute those around for just a minute. I want to add a little bit of um, this garlic. I know I put garlic powder, but I want to add a little bit of this. I call it wet garlic. That was a nice big heaping tablespoon.
And I just got um, a set of three of, three of these. Um, I don't know really if they're pots or pans. I kind of look at them as pots, but anyway, this is the second time I've used them and I really like them. So, what we're gonna do next is add a little water. Let me get some water. And for the time being, we're gonna just put that where it's towards the bottom. It'll start taking that um, cooked on. Um, whatever you call it. It's on the bottom of the pan. Cooked on goodness, I'll call it. And we're gonna let this simmer for about 45 minutes because we want our steak to be real tender. And when it's um, done about 45 minutes, I'm gonna put a little more water, depending on how much is left. And um, I'm gonna put about a cup of rice and we're gonna let that rice cook in with our vegetables and our steak and uh, then it will be time to eat and it's going to be so so good so for now i'm just going to be taking about 45 minutes to let this simmer and every now and then i'll come in and check it just to make sure the water hasn't all come out and um, i'll give it a stir i'll add a little water if it needs it and then after 45 minutes i'll be back we are ready to move on to our next step and that is adding a couple more ingredients along with our rice. So let's see what we have going on. And that has cooked for about 45 minutes at a good um, simmer. And it is just about at the real tender stage. I think that once we um, add the rice and let it, the rice cook, that it will, the meat will go ahead and cook to where, I mean, it's tender now, but it's not just fall apart tender. I'm gonna add a little cilantro. You could add the fresh or you don't have to add any at all if you don't want to. I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. I've been tasting this to see how it is and I haven't added anything. The taste is just really, really good. Uh, and about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna stir that around. And this broth is real rich, but we're gonna dilute it down a little bit because we're adding the rice. So, if you can see, it's, I have Oh, maybe three cups of water in here. I'm gonna turn the heat up to get this um, simmering again. And once it starts simmering again, I'll put the rice in it. And once I put the rice in it, I'll um, let it come back to a simmer and I'll cut it down real low and I'm gonna let it go. Um, I'll put the rice in it and I'll cover it, turn it down on a very low simmer 
and let it go for approximately 20 minutes and I'll come back and see how it looks. I'll stir it around. I may let it go for a little bit longer. It just depends on what I think at the time. So it's getting ready to bubble there. And this is one cup of rice. And it's gonna absorb a bunch of this really delicious flavor. Okay. I'm going to cover it, then I'm going to turn it down low and let it simmer. So I will be back shortly. So we're going to check the rice and meat and see how it's doing. And I believe that it needs to go a while longer. Just trying to get the rice nice and dry. So I'm going to put the lid back on it and let it go another 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to check again, and be I believe now it's going to be ready. It has such a wonderful aroma. And um, I do believe it's ready. I think if I let it go anymore, it might start getting mushy. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put some in the bowl. And a piece of meat. So there's what it looks like up close. You can tell how rich it is by the color. So now the good part, we get to try it. And the meat is very tender. It just broke right off. You can see all the steam. It's really hot. This is good. That meat and rice is so full of flavor. Really, really good. I love it. I hope you um, give this a try. It's really good. And um, I'm going to go take what uh, my bowl sit down at the TV and watch Antiques Roadshow. So please give it a try. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Do something good for yourself and someone else and know that you're loved. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.